Hello traders and welcome to volume 5 of the weekly outlook and setups. As you all know, June is coming to an end, so we're entering another month and we should be prepared because preparation is the key for making money in the forex market. So let's start analyzing. As always, we're starting with the US dollar currency index. So I am on the monthly time frame right now because the monthly candle is about to close. We're having a very nice bearish engulf after two months of slowdown. And we had this beautiful doji here spinning top and now we're going down. This is a monthly FIP setup perfectly at the 61.8% and I'm very, very bearish on the US dollar. For the moment, switching down to the weekly time frame, we had this massive bearish Marubozu. Now we're slowing down, but we're encountering this, this support here, supportive zone or region. So we may have a little bit of a pullback before we continue back down. On the daily time frame, we can plot a FIP like that. So I will wait for price to reach its mean value which corresponds to the 61.8% FIP and then I will be waiting for a break of this strong support area and then we can start looking for short opportunities and implementing the analysis into the other pairs. So bearish bias on the DXY but first we need some kind of pullback. EURUSD monthly time frame here we have similar price action to the DXY but in reverse as we can see, we have this long leg doji, then we have a spinning bottom, and now we're having a bullish engulf on the monthly time frame. So this immediately gives us the bias for the month ahead. So let's dig in deeper onto the weekly time frame. We had this bottom here at 1120. Then we had this massive bullish engulf, then return, then another bullish engulf, and now we're slowing down. So very, very similar to the DXY as they're kind of negatively correlated, but we're just, uh, the Euro is comparing and uh, kind of competing to the USD. So the DXY will give you the direction of Euro USD. So digging deeper, we have broken this uh, higher high here, or I would say high because this was the first leg up, then we had the correction and now we're having a higher high which indicates that we are currently switching to an uptrend. So we can even plot a FIP from here, perfect 61.8 and bank reaching the 27% extension to the PIP. So we're having uh, three days of slowdown. We're sitting on this supportive region here. So if I am to introduce another FIP sequence like that, it actually corresponds again to the mean value of the 50 EMA and the trend line. So similar to the DXY, I will be waiting for a pullback to reach its mean value to test the trend line in the Fibonacci region and then we can look for long opportunities. Switching down to the 4 hourly, we can see that price is kind of consolidating or maybe distributing before having a leg down. So another confluence for the slowdown of the price action is the uh, 1.14 key level, uh, which kind of uh, was violated and then we returned back down immediately. So yeah, consolidation, if we wait for its break and retest, we can even have a very short term opportunity if we break retest and we can write it down to the 61.8%. And yeah, that, that's Euro. I am long-term bullish bias, but for now I think that the pair is due to a pullback down to a FIP level and the trend line. Our next pair is Aussie dollar, US dollar. I think this is a very interesting opportunity because I think we're having a reversal of the market right now. So starting to analyze, we first have this very strong support area on the monthly time frame, which corresponds to the 0.68 key round number in the market. So the first stop of the area was on 1st of January 2016 and since then we haven't reached the area and we were trending in an uptrend. Then we had the reversal and on three years later exactly at the beginning of the year we had another top of the zone and imagine how much money has been pumped into the market to 
push the price up. I believe it is 500 pips. Yes, 550. So currently we were slowly grinding down to reach this area again. And now we're having this nice bullish close, um, almost touching the level. So this gives us a very nice indication of market reversal. So weekly time frame, we have this kind of morning star formation here, a very nice weekly closure. So dropping down to the daily time frame for further analysis, we have this descending trend line, which was broken. We have this double bottom here. So we actually price action has been trending in a very aggressive uptrend without any clear pullbacks. So I would not advise taking any long positions in this area or in the current state of price action because we're in this kind of very steep trending market. So let's first wait to see the reaction of the price of this resistance area. I would love to see kind of retracement back to the 50 EMA to the broken trend line and before going long on this pair. So I will be monitoring Euro USD and DXY for further um, confluences about this market. And yeah, that is Aussie dollar, US dollar. USD CAD on the monthly time frame, we're having this massive bearish engulf, engulfing the previous four months of price action. So this is a very strong signal from the monthly time frame that the pair will be going down. But switching down to the weekly time frame, we see that price action has tapped into a liquidity zone and a very important level for the market, which is 1.31 key round number. As we can see after this huge flush, flush here, we had an immediate reaction and we had this bullish engulf sending the market, um, let me tell you, 400 pips away from it. So we're currently tapping into this zone again. And switching down to the daily time frame, we see the first reaction of it. So the market is actually very overextended. So I think that the market is due to a pullback, taking in mind that EURUSD has to pull back, DXY has to pull back, and respectively UCAT has to have some form of a pullback as well to the FIB levels or the its mean value. So I think right now, there is a opportunity for a counter trend trade. As you can see, we have those four hour massive spikes to the downside. So if we manage to kind of um, break this 1.31 key level and had an immediate retest of it, I think that we will have a very nice long opportunity to the FIB levels. I hope the market plays out as expected and we will grab some nice pips on the up move of UCAT. Interesting price action on GBP USD. We had this descending trend line which was broken and now we are currently sitting at 1.25, um, kind of retesting the broken trend line. We're having our second top of the level creating a double bottom, maybe on the weekly time frame. The monthly closure is a very nice spinning bottom. So after seeing this bearish candle slow down we're now expecting a bullish candle for a morning star formation which will send the price up so weekly time frame yep we have this double bottom here so um bullish engulf but i see that we're currently struggling to break of this region and we will dig deeper on the daily time frame so let's plot the level from here very strong resistance area which is actually the 2750 key level so we're having kind of inverse head and shoulders movement here uh choppy price action so i will not advise any um, positions on the pair before we break 2750 and we retest it quick look on the four hourly choppy price action we have this supportive region here, kind of, let's, let's draw a zone like this. So if we manage to break below and retest, we will be having a short opportunity um, with targets 1.25, or if we manage to break up and have a clear retest, then we will be heading up on GBP USD.
finishing the analysis with an exotic pair, which is Euro New Zealand dollar. So I think we're having a reversal on this market as well. We had a bounce from this monthly key level of 1.72, perfectly breaking it, kind of fake out, and now we're very bearish on the pair. So let me just draw some levels on the monthly time frame. We see we have a very nice zone here with a lot of touches and bounces. So this will be our profit taken target. Having a look at the weekly time frame, we have a perfect evening star formation, this massive bullish candle, indecision, and now bearish engulf on the weekly time frame, which gives us a very higher chance of success. So if we try to enter a short position like that, it would be with a 500 pip stop loss, which is not the perfect risk to reward ratio. So if we're bearish from the higher time frames, we switch down to the lower ones. So I see that we have violated this ascending trend line. We have uh, currently approaching this second touch, which is a supportive region here. So in order to go short on the pair, we will, as always, we will have to see the pullback and we should have a nicer risk to reward ratio. So this is a potential zone for price uh, to pull back. So if we draw a fib level mm, from here, maybe, yep, we have a confluence with the 50%. Even if we kind of have a deeper retracement to the trend line, it will be perfect for a short opportunity. So this is Euro New Zealand dollar. Let me have a quick look on New Zealand dollar, which is very, very overextended as well. So we should have a retracement here and a retracement here on Euro New Zealand. Perfect. So I will wrap up this analysis for today, guys. I hope you catch some very nice pips next week. It's a beginning of a new month. Sum up your goals. How was your week? Sum up every single trade you took. I hope you are journaling your trades because it's very important that in the end of the month, you go through every single pair and see what worked and what didn't. So I hope to hear from you, hear your feedback, send me some messages on Instagram, here on YouTube. And thank you for watching up until now. Until next time.